Okay, quick recap of everything we discussed. Let's start off with the chord transitions. So when we're going G to C add nine to D to E minor, we wanna have one motion for each chord. So before strumming this, you're gonna focus on the left hand and we're gonna do pick up, move back, place down. And we'll go back and forth five times until you feel really comfortable with that movement. So on the D chord, it's gonna start with the second finger. Swing back, press down, back into it. You know, again, five times or so. And then same thing, E minor, and then back to G. So once you can pretty confidently move through that progression, then you're gonna add the strum. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So on through each chord, along with the metronome. It is very important to continue moving forward. Don't correct a mistake uh, and fall off time. Just keep moving forward and, and make your uh, corrections the next round. When we get to the D chord, we want to be really on top of the chord. I'll show you like that, okay? So we hear that bottom note. Now, the rhythm exercise that's going to accompany this song, uh, down, down, up, up, down, up. So one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and along with the metronome. Count it out first so you feel the rhythm and then play through. Now the uh, solo section for just what I needed. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So you see that the second chord and the fourth chord move on the and of two. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and.